That's of course a, a, an essential question, and and I think you're right too that it's that it's a question of discovering something within yourself, not discovering something out there somewhere. Um, and uh, of course, I I don't know the answer, and I all I can do is is offer a a, a couple of random hints. Uh, and based on on my own experience, you know what what little I know. Um, what what springs to mind is 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 to to inquire beyond uh, beyond music. Uh, to 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 set your sights beyond the practice room, beyond the classroom. Uh, and, and and of course by by all of that I I mean life experience you know getting involved in in relationships that 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 test you, uh, and, and for me specifically it also it's 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 involved uh, kind of broadening my sense of the the, the arts in general I I, um, I think I've profited tremendously by by doing a lot of reading and by going to the theater, by, by exploring uh, arts other than, other than music. Uh, specifically in my case, I think I've been tremendously influenced by poetry and, and, and not in a, in a sort of vague and mystical way. In a very practical way, I think I've learned a, more about Phrasing and structure and all of that from from studying poetry than I have from from studying music uh, and i and i I have a strong sense that that poetry and music are are interrelated that they're essentially playing on the same field using the same rules of uh, and and of course that's 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 true of painting as well uh, uh, and i i I think my playing has 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 deepened and 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 broadened as as well uh, by 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 my occasionally looking out beyond the practice room and the classroom to 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 what's out there, what other sources are are available um, and. I, I I I do think the 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 musicians that 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 speak most urgently to me Charlie Parker Lester Young those those people are are really in effect telling me about their their life I I I sense their life behind their playing and uh, uh, and I guess I mean life in a kind of general way that. Their 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 childhood, you know, their 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 marriage, all of that stuff. Um, but I also mean specifically their day, you know, what, what they ate for breakfast, what uh, uh, whether the horn they're playing is 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 broken or not. Uh, the, the 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 very specific aspects of the specific day. In which they made the record that that's so timeless to me. Uh, I I hear, of course, that that Lester Young's solo on "Lady Be Good" is timeless, but but it's also a reflection of what happened to him on that specific day in in 1930, whatever. You know, it, uh, it's uh, the, the, there's something that needs to happen at some at some point after you've learned. What a G seventh is, and what an altered chord is, as opposed to uh, you know all of the all of that stuff. There's something that needs to happen. There, where where the, where you're where you've got a voice, and you are telling the world when you play about your childhood and about your marriage, but also about what you ate for breakfast, and and. Uh, what caused you to be ten minutes late to the gig? Uh, uh, all of that stuff uh, uh, is is immensely important. Uh, it it also in the in the kind of 
it's 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 beneficial to be talking about all of that stuff because it takes your eye off the ball it takes your eye off the target you know the zen and the art of archery and all of the, all of that stuff if you're telling somebody about your life you're not asking yourself what's a g7th when the g7th comes and you're not asking yourself whether it should be a third finger or a fourth finger that fingers this note you're talking about your life uh, and your fingers are kind of automatically making those choices and making them far better than you could if you applied your your cranium to the issue you know it's uh uh that, that, that there's there is life beyond the classroom there's life beyond uh beyond the practice room and that that doesn't denigrate the the role of the classroom and the and the practice room but it but it but it points to the necessity to 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 step beyond it as well <laughs>